Hello, my name is Paul and this is Deb. Uh, Deb is 56 years old and uh, I would first seen her about four years ago for fitting of orthotics for a posterior tibial tendon rupture. And um, she's done very well with orthotics. She's just here for another fitting, but I thought I'd show you what a true posterior tib tendon rupture looks like. Um, so really the, the two biggest factors is foot posture when standing and manual muscle testing. So in order to test the posterior tip tendon, what we do is we have her invert the foot and point down, just like that, and we have her resist and we go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna evert her and dorsiflex her and I want her to hold, and she really can't hold that. If we do this side, she points in and turns down, and we try to resist her, we have nice resistance there, okay? So we can see the weakness over here. So we're gonna have you do it one more time, point down and turn in, Okay, good, and see how it collapses really easily. Now I'm going to have her stand up, and I'd like you to take a look at her foot posture. And this is another classic sign of a posterior tib tendon rupture. You can see how we have a significant navicular drop here, and she maintains a very nice arch on the left side. If we have her turn around, we'll take a look at her heels, and you can see how we have uh, some increased calcaneal eversion here and collapse. And the um, nice thing about it is that we can correct your foot. So I'm going to lift the inside of your foot and let me turn it in a little bit. And she's really correctable. So we're going to be able to get her uh, nicely supported with an orthotic. And um, she should do well with that. Thank you.